Hello, I'm Johannes from the OSO team at Nokia. Welcome back to this instructional series of using the Unity plugin for Player SDK. In the first video, we discussed the prerequisites for working with the plugin, including installation instructions. In this video, I will show you how to play your first 360 video with our SDK on Gear VR. So let's begin. Start the Unity and create an empty project. Then, from the Assets menu, Select Import Package, Custom Package. Browse to the place where you extracted the plugin. Select also Player SDK Unity Package and import everything. Next, from the project view, you can open the OSO Player SDK example scenes main scene. This is near to minimal project to get started with video playback. As we are in this video targeting Gear VR, we should put the Oculus OSIC files in place. Since I run this on a single device, I will just need to add this file to plugins Android assets. And these folders need to be created if they don't exist. Now I will just drag the OSIC file to Assets folder. Let's continue by putting some 360 degree video content to the project Streaming Assets folder. I have a short example video here, which I can drag to the editor. You can create content with the OSO camera and its creator suit, but you can also find top bottom format 360 degree videos online. In the latter case, you need to make sure the file name ending describes the video layout format. Here is a list of supported types. In the project tab, you can see OSO view game object. This contains the interface to the SDK and will create cameras in runtime to render the stereoscopic video. The player game object contains a simple sample player. Select the latter and fill in the license ID. You can choose this by yourself, but the recommended format is COM, company name, app name, similar to Android bundle and identifier. After this, there is an array of video file names. Set the first entry to point to the video we just imported to the streaming assets folder. The asset URL prefix is used for assets package with the application, which in Unity means the streaming assets folder. We also support application specific persistent data folders. In that case, you can use a URL prefix storage. And for dash streams, you can give the normal HTTP address to the stream. As we now start with the empty project, we should set the VR enabled in the edit project settings player other settings. After that, you have to prioritize HMD SDK you are using. So for the Oculus Rift, select the Oculus SDK and open VR for the Vive. While still here, let's set the Android required bundle identifier. As we also we can set the API level to minimum 21. Also check that the VR is set for Android as well. Now you are set up. You can try this already in the editor. Press play. 
and then press space or click the mouse and you will see the video play. Looks good. Let's see it on the device. Select from file build settings. Set to Android. Add open scenes. And hit the build and run. And now that the build is done, you will have the application running on the device and you can connect it to your Gear VR. Here you can tap the button to get the video playing. If you look carefully, you could see also the additional plane behind the viewer that we had placed to, placed to the scene to illustrate how you can have content on top of the video. You can play more with the sample by modifying the script in the player, game object and add interactions and insert more videos to the list. In the next video, I will demonstrate how to modify the previous sample to have more controls on the video playback. That's all for this video. Thanks.